Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing around with a little bit of vintage grunge in our journals. Now, um, while I don't mind having sort of vintagey, browny coloured bits and pieces, um, I quite like it when it looks a little bit more natural and neutral um, and goes into the grey tones as well. So because I had this page in my journal that had just been painted off with some extra paint and it sort of had those grey mixy up tones I thought I would have a go at just making my own little vintage background. So this is in my Square Delusions Ledger journal and um, I've quite enjoyed the challenge of working in the square format so this piece in particular I actually really enjoyed doing because the colours while I use blues quite a bit, I'm not necessarily using the grey colours all that much. So it was quite fun to do something a little bit different. So I'm just going in with some stamping in the background, just some random bits and pieces of my favourite stamps. And then going in with some mark making stamps. These ones are from Stencil Girl, I think Ray Missigan, Missing Man, um, is the person who designed these ones. They are a bit liney and a bit directional, which I quite liked on this page because I was kind of trying to make a bit of a border on this. Um, because it is so square, my page, that I wanted sort of to have things coming in from the edges a little bit. Um, so you can see these leaves coming up and down and the little lines in the background. And you could sort of play around with it a little bit. It also gave me a bit of space to pop a focal image in as well. One of the things that really appealed to me about this page, I think, when I did it, was because the paint didn't naturally go to the edge of the um, the edge of the pages, which I usually do. There was a bit of a border around it, so I decided to enhance that a little with my Stabilo oil pencil and draw a really scratchy border um, to make it look framed almost. Then I got my big chunky white pen out to do some mark making across the background. I also used, I think, my woody pencil in the background to make some marks as well where I will do um, what's my the colour I need. <laughs> I then grabbed my white Stabilo oil pencil and just did some scratchy writing in the background. So this is, while well, they were all words um, and it was about how I was feeling on the day, it's not stuff I needed to go back and write about. I think this is me sort of telling myself I need to make art every day which I have been trying really hard to do because um, I was struggling with that a little bit last year. Because I had some leftover paint on my palette, I didn't want to waste it, so I'm just getting my thin paintbrush out and using up the excess and making some dots on my page. And that's quite often how my mark making goes. It isn't necessarily that I'm thinking too much about making marks, it's more because I've got paint left over and I need something to do with it. So this is the doll I wanted to use. I grabbed one of these big portrait faces because I knew the colouring would work well with my background. And I had some of these transparent backgrounds, it must have been a pack that came with the Tim Holtz um, ideology stuff. And I thought, because I really like my background, so I thought having the transparency would make a, a really good body for my um, little character. And I'm so glad that I did it. So once I've glued them both together, and popped it down. I wanted something to cover the harsh edge. I've got these beautiful big moths again from the Tim Holtz ideology to glue over the top which kind of gives her a nice big collar, nice big wings um, to fit on the page. I've been using a lot of butterflies in my work recently I think just because I really like um, how they look on it. So I decided she needed a butterfly in her hair too and again I'm using some of those um, browny grey bluey tones in the background just to sort of balance it all together. One of the things I've been doing a lot with as well is doubling up my um, butterflies so I get sort of one on top of the other. I did want to put some sort of words in this page. So I have these um, cute little hashtag words from ScrapFX that I thought I could use um, on this page. But I just, while I really like them, they just didn't quite fit the way I wanted them to. And then I thought I could use the... Um, flashcards here but again they were really chunky and not the right color tone for this page which I think what 
which was taking away from what I wanted to do in it. So I got out my, um, I think these are called clippings. Again, a Tim Holtz ideology product, but they're basically just someone's gone through vintage books and cut out snippets. So they're all rough and ready. They're all different sizes, um, different colors because of the, the color of the book they came out of. And there's some really cool little phrases in there that you can sort of chop up and do in different bits and pieces. So it's a bit like found poetry from a vintage page or blackout poetry where you go through and find what works for you in it. Um, so you cut out and color in what you need. Um, so I quite like the found idea of it. I found another little butterfly, so I decided I would stick that on too. Now I've just got some glue to glue it down. And the great thing about um, gluing this down is once it dries clear, you can actually see it under the um, transparency. Now using the stipular oil pencil around the outside, just to give a little bit of a shadow to my figure to push it out from the background somewhat. And the great thing about this little oil pencil is it is such a multimedia pencil that it will go over the transparency. So if you need to draw over the top or do some extra line work and so on, it's actually a really great pencil to be able to do that with because it's quite waxy. It will go over the top of most anything. I think on the package it says, it says you could actually write on glass with it. So um, it's a, a handy little pencil. So as you can see here, I'm able to use my pencil to draw around the outside of my stickers which is obviously on the transparency and just using my fingers to blend them in a little bit just doing a little bit of extra detail on my butterfly moth wings as well so once I finished that I then decided I was going to clean up a little bit <laughs> and add a little bit of extra color into the background so I've got my blue stabilo oil pencil just to push out that mark making and to pull out the blue color on the page just that little bit more I was also experimenting a little bit because um, it's the first time I've used the blue stabilo oil pencil so um, I was having fun finding out what that can do finally I'm going in with a white paint pen in her eyes just to make those pop out a little bit it does make those um, cabinet doll pictures look a little bit manic when you put the white pen on it but it also does make a real focal point of their eyes which really sort of draws um, our eyes into the page and makes it focus on that if that makes sense finally I'm just putting some splatter in the background so this is the black gloss spray and when I've accidentally popped it onto her face, I can just grab a wet wipe and wipe off the bits or a sponge off, sorry, the bits that I don't need on it anymore. And then give it a bit of a heat set. Again, just being really careful around your transparencies. They don't necessarily like heat all that much. So in the close-up, you can see my stamping in the background, how the colours are blended together. Um, the little bit of colour on the face to just bring it out a little bit more how those transparencies have all layered up together so lots and lots of fun not using the traditional browns that you tend to get in grungy colors but still having fun with that vintage element in your book so i hope you have a go at that thank you so much for watching until next time bye for now